As you can see, the glass on this Seiko Perpetual Calendar watch is very scratched. And so today I'm going to show you how to replace one of these. So the principal tools I'll be using will be uh, one of these glass presses and, or similar and we'll need a JAXA case opening tool and um, a case vise is handy for holding the watch in whilst you're opening it. To order the new glass you're going to need these eight characters that are on the watch back for a Seiko watch. There's always four characters with a dash and another four characters. The first four characters are the movement number and the last four characters uh, represent the case or the model number. So those eight characters are required uh, when you're ordering the new glass. So I'm using the JAXA tool to loosen the watch back. And first of all, I'll loosen the watch back, um, but I won't remove it straight away because I need to brush any debris away first. Removing the winding stem. Now the watch can come out of the case. Set the watch aside. Now we're going to use a die to um, knock out the original glass. And for that we're going to use a flat die. This will come with the glass press. And we're going to use a hammer to knock it out. Notice there's a, a black nylon uh, seal which is between the glass and the case. Be careful not to damage that. This model has a uh, magnifier uh, which resides over the calendar, uh, so line that up. Now we'll choose a recessed die to press the glass in. Now this is the glass press I'm using. I've placed the correct size die in the press and I'll push down not too much pressure but just enough to press the glass into place. I'm using a recessed die because of the calendar magnifier. Now I'm just checking around the edges of the glass to make sure it's uh, completely flat and sitting correctly in the bezel. before placing the movement back into the watch case I'm just using a dust blower to uh, remove any particles of dust that may have gotten itself attached to the dial or the inside of the glass uh, never blow using your breath because obviously the moisture in your breath might cause corrosion So back goes the winder and before I push the winder fully in I'm just going to apply a little bit of silicone grease and now the movement ring and now we're ready to put the back back on and tighten the watch back so it's a very short video just to um, illustrate how to replace the glass in a Seiko watch. Um, but not just a Seiko watch, this applies to any watch with a mineral glass uh, that's held in place with a nylon gasket. So thank you for watching and see you next time.